Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to make a video discussing jailbreaking and kind of summarizing things for you guys. So as most of you know, tomorrow on the 18th, Apple will officially release iOS 7 to the general public. So millions will have the updated firmware, and of course millions will be searching for a new jailbreak solution. Well, I just wanted to give you guys the latest development status on the next untethered jailbreak for iOS 7 to come from the evaders. So following Apple's iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C unveiling event, the company released iOS 7 GM or Goldmaster Edition, which is essentially the finalized version of 7.0 that will find its way to the iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches of millions. Now, the reason why iOS 7.0 GM is so important is because the Evaders, which as many of you know is the team that's responsible for bringing us the Evasion Untethered iOS 6 through 6.1.2 jailbreak utility, can now focus their efforts on developing a new untethered iOS US 7 jailbreak. In fact, Planet Being from the Evaders informed his followers that the team has quote, achieved unsigned user land code execution with the help of some exploits the team has been saving until this exact moment. Now as stated in his tweet, Planet Being and the Evaders quote, have a good platform for poking the kernel and are making significant progress in jailbreak development. And as I mentioned before, on the 10th, Apple revealed the iPhone 5S, which will be powered by the company's all new A7 chip. And an interesting article on jailbreak evasion iOS discusses how Apple's new 64-bit A7 chip will affect the development of an iOS 7 jailbreak. Now, like with every new chipset the company releases, the A7 SoC or system on a chip poses additional challenges for the developers on the jailbreak scene. Moreover, the fact that the A7 is built using 64-bit desktop class architecture doesn't make the task of developing a new iOS 7 jailbreak any easier. In accordance to all previous dev teams, the evaders have continued the practice of storing valuable vulnerabilities in iOS code that have the potential to be exploited and applied to future jailbreak utilities. And following the event on the 10th, Pod2G of the evaders sent a tweet to his followers pertaining to the exact topic that I'm discussing right now. So while some exploits the evaders have discovered have managed to survive Apple's transcendence of the now outdated 32-bit A6 chip found in the iPhone 5 and other devices, including the new iPhone iPhone 5C, there will undoubtedly be a few that were unintentionally patched due to the basic process of evolution. Now although there isn't an exact release date for the next jailbreak or even a time frame for that matter, it's safe to say that the new 64-bit A7 chip will set the evaders back and force the use of their exploit discovery skills. Now also recently on the 13th, famed iOS security researcher and hacker Pod2G shared his confidence regarding the development of a public jailbreak tool for iOS 7 in a tweet to Pimsky who's another member of the evaders. He said, quote, being more and more confident about an iOS 7 public jailbreak. That does not mean soon. Now, in response, Pimskak simply said the following, in what I assume was intended to be a sarcastic tone, quote, hey, Pod2G, that's confidential. Now, like I've said numerous times, a jailbreak tool for iOS 6.1.3 likely won't be released to the public before the evaders finish development on an untethered iOS 7 utility. Now, if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, there will be an annotation on the screen now with a link to my previous jailbreak update video where I discuss iOS 6.1.3 and also why there isn't currently a jailbreak for the latest firmware for most devices or 6.1.4 for the iPhone 5. And as I mentioned before, unfortunately there isn't a release date or a time frame. As Pod2G said in his tweet, that does not mean soon. Now although I don't anticipate it will take months to develop an iOS 7 jailbreak like it did with the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 evasion utility, we won't really know for sure until the evaders are able to get their hands on the iPhone 5S with Apple's new 64-bit A7 chip like I was talking about before. Now, of course, I will keep you guys completely covered on everything jailbreak related here on my YouTube channel. I'll also provide you guys with the very best jailbreak tutorials once a utility is released. Now, as far as Red Snow is concerned, the iPhone dev team will most likely update Red Snow to include support for the iPhone 4. So iPhone 4 owners will probably be able to jailbreak before any other iDevice owners once Sarek's able to update compatibility for Cydia with iOS 7. So just be sure to stay tuned for anything and everything related to jailbreaking. Again, I will keep you guys covered Covered. And if you want a chance to enter into my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway, simply rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And of course, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.